so like, yeah, yeah, like, 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 people here, here cute, uh, I'm pretty sure are weebs, and I'm one of them, so, we're all in this game called VR now, what do you expect, everyone here is a weeb, I feel like a pretty furry animal, essentially, like, 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 I'm accusing yeah, people of being weebs, hey, and you're the uh, one that played like, this place game. furry avatar, right? Like, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> hey, look, like, furry, can you get that? Actually, um, like, like, like I'm accusing like 80, people of being weebs, people here, and I, I pretty got, like, sure are weebs, and I'm one of them, avatar. so. Let me, yeah. let me, let, let me slip into them DMs. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> imagine, imagine that being a weeb. Hey! There I am. I'm a... I'm gonna I'm slip into these DMs. <laughs> oh, man. I'm running out of beer. I'm gonna go get more trash. The reason why I just have Minecraft skins and that's it. Oh my god. Dude, dude. If Halo Infinite had, like, the, if, if they put, like, armors like this, like, like, ears and tails. Like, yeah, they would make bank, dude. Like people would buy the shit out of those armors, man. Like fuck, I don't know. I would. <laughs> dude, imagine Microsoft did that like, shit, dude. Like fucking Halo Infinite just like get sniped by a fucking furry. That'd be hilarious. Well, Halo 3 oh, man, he did have a samurai skin, so it's like only compared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That they were Halo 3 did have a samurai skin. I don't think that mine is like an actual like, sign with a rope here. and everything, it's just like, a slap right there right because right it's a video here. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the hearing is just turning into a meter, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, uh, your radar is able to detect enemies from further away, I guess. I don't know, I'm just making well, sure. Well, now this Not even your radar. Yeah. Yourself. Yourself, right? Like, all right, we are yeah. going deep enough. Guys, um, I'm gonna go get more uh, beers, cause like, man, right here is popping right now, man. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'll be right back. Fucking new objective, don't crash. This is like. Indeed, right? There's another Tundra Lodge public world that has two people. Oh, it is for holy crap. And the other one was one. I have 18 sound effects on this. Yes. I have way too many. I'm both of them. Beautiful. Well, um. Maybe I'm gonna hide some avatars because I think this is gonna crush the Yeah, I turned on. Yeah, that might be a smart choice. Yeah. I think I'm already pre prepared for that. No, I'm gonna keep everyone's avatar shown. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm go in safe. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna turn off visitors. I feel confident I am. With everyone's shown, it's around 30 FPS. At least for me, it's playable. I'm gonna turn off all the <laughs> animations. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I think I, something I have that's against TOS is breaking my game. I'm going at 50 FPS with everyone's shown. 43. I don't know. Oh, never mind. I looked over there and my FPS started starting instantly. Oh god, everyone's fucking Abby is sweet. Oh no. Hi. Do I have a big enough play space to like round up all Okay, my GPU is kind of chilling, like but my CPU is like. This world might be chilling. Yeah, I'm yeah. only starting to put costumes on this one, so I'll get there eventually. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all custom. The only thing I have on this is I can just take off the antlers and the glasses. So, how is the person supposed to get in here? Oh, yeah, you have the guardian thing, right? I don't think you're. I'm probably gonna I, join I, in. I am jealous of her body though. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yeah. I've, I've had these, yeah. I've had these for like two years and actually cool. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. And we are live. I have it held together with fucking tape right now. Because it's not, it's not just tracker here will fall off. Coincidentally, just tonight. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Yeah, I, I, 
I made a mistake. Yeah, I, dude, I made a mistake. There was like the, the, uh, I was there that fucking the fucking second that the Kickstarter started, and instead of clicking early bird, I clicked on the yeah, I clicked on the month, like the, the normal release. So I, I made. I did early bird. Oh really? Basically like buying it for me. Basically like buying it for me. It's just you had it there, but it didn't give it to you. What you drinking? <laughs> Only Budweiser. No one needs to know. Don't narc. <laughs> I too have water. This is my first one as well. <laughs> first three? So for those who are going to be watching this VOD later, this is basically the new motion trackers that I backed on Kickstarter a few months ago. It was supposed to come out at the end of this year, but it is delayed because of problems in China. Something to do with a lack of electricity or whatever. Um, they got a bunch of VR chat meetups where they actually talk about the products and stuff. And... Hopefully, we'll be getting this at the beginning of next year, and that's going to be lit. They're supposed to be smaller, lighter, and overall a lot more inexpensive compared to the, uh, compared to the Vive trackers. And more importantly, they're going to actually be in stock. As you can see, there's a great variety of people here. There's actually even a physical, gigantic Tundra Tracker here as well, which is kind of cool. Ooh. We got about uh, two minutes until the show starts, more or less. Um, mocap stuff. I don't see TF2 characters as much as I used to. <laughs> Hello? Hello? 
pretty good. How are you? Oh, good morning then. What time is it where you guys are at? Oh God. <laughs> it's uh, 9 p.m. over here in the States right now. Yeah, that's what I call dedication. <laughs> yeah, I just got home from the bar myself. <laughs> Long day at work. Hi, Luke. Hi. Yep. Um, as good as they'll ever be, I guess. Um, it, the meet starts like um one minute ago. Yeah, like right now. Yeah. I guess these must be the Tundra employees right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I think that's it. Yeah. The Luke. That guy is Luke Bueno, the one who founded the the Tony in the robot. Luke Skywalker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what you're looking at right now is actually the Tundra Tracker itself, but in virtual reality. Soon we'll get to have one of these in the future, I hope. Maybe next, maybe in the next couple months. They'll be delivered next month, yeah. Hopefully. Yay. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, cool. So I can talk to... Well, let me let me reduce that a little bit. So I'm not killing everyone. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, cool. I can talk to Twitch now without everyone hearing. Utilizing mute option. So 
once again, I'm actually at a meetup, virtual meetup, for a bunch of motion trackers I helped back on Kickstarter called Tundra Trackers. This is the Tundra Labs official meeting world, and this is supposed to be the second VR meeting. We were supposed to start a few minutes ago, but um, it looks like someone had to restart their VR chat client, so we're waiting a little bit. Whoa, it's starting to lag even more. <laughs> Exactly, or they yeah. might not even have plastic, you're right, it might even just have like an IR little screen, right, for, so, so it doesn't have like an interference or anything. It might just be a really, really small right. glass. They're here. Yeah. Yeah. Outback Steakhouse. Femboy Hooters. Femboy Hooters. Jason, you want to be master of ceremony or should I get started? I'll show you a master of ceremony. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start off fast. Um, hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. 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 Good morning. Hey. 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 Hi Luke. <laughs> she's doing yoga right now. She's collecting her spirit energy. <laughs> Thanks. 
trackers are sitting in our warehouse right now. We have um, about 140 kits that are ready to ship out. We needed to make some final changes to the dongle firmware uh, about two weeks ago, and so those changes are now implemented. But we had a small delay in getting those dongles to the U.S. warehouse this week, so um, they're they're literally being handled by FedEx right now. When we receive them, we'll process those orders and ship them out to uh, U.S. and Canada early bird backers who have <laughs> free dongles. I actually forgot if I'm an early bird backer or not. <laughs> um, those dongle shipments are probably about, well, we're, we're finishing programming SW7 now. Um, they're probably about a week behind the SW3 dongle. So um, those shipments will go out then. So that, that basically encompasses the United States and Canada. Um, and then we'll be working on shipping out to the European early birds you know, following that up. The European early birds are a little bit more, um, a little bit more delayed because we need to transfer that inventory to the European warehouse and we still have some certificates that we're working on getting for uh, our plastic and, and batteries. So that's the early bird update. Right, thank you, Luke. So, um, how will the shipment be handling going over to all the early birds in uh, North America and basically Canada and the US, right? So Yeah, so so we're going to be shipping with UPS. So if you're in the United States, they'll be shipping UPS ground transportation. Uh, it means that if you're um, if you're in the Midwest, like for example Chicago, St. Louis, you receive them the day after we ship them. If you're on the west coast, it may take probably three or four days, I would, I would think, to receive them. And on the east coast, um, two to three days, depending on your location. So um, you'll, of course, have tracking. It should be a pretty reliable way to deliver the trackers. We are not using the post office, so um, um, that's good for everyone. Sounds good. So, um, uh, w later on, after this, we will split into smaller groups easier to manage and <laughs> any questions that you might have with regards to the shipping. Alright? Yeah. Cool. So, since there's a lot of people. Pog. Yep. So, um. Hoggers. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, just, just a small amount. Preferably in 60 <laughs> FPS. package is basically a carrying case, um, three trackers, three USB cables for charging your trackers, um, your dongle, which would be a 3x, 5x, or 7x, and then a an USB extension cable. And we have some basic straps that would allow you to do feet and waist um, to connect those trackers to your feet and waist. So it should be a full kit. Like you should be able to take it, plug it in, and you know get into full body tracking pretty pretty quickly. Um, the trackers they will not be paired when you receive them, so you will need to pair the trackers. And um, I guess when you're pairing them right now, if you turn on the trackers, you'll need to wait about five to 10 seconds and then press the button again for pairing purposes. So that's a, still something that we're working on in the firmware to make that process a little bit easier, I guess you would say. Uh, um, the trackers will ship with probably about 20% battery charge. So you'll be able to use them 
when you receive them, but you'll need to charge them shortly afterward. Um, there's some regulations associated with shipping batteries at full capacity, so we ship them with 20% charge. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, you know, our goal is to make the trackers as easy to use as possible. So, you know, we we just hope that they they work transparently for you. Um, we have realized that, uh, for example, the SW7 dongle is getting pretty hot. Um, so um, we actually recommend oh that boy. you use it with the uh, ex external USB extension cable as opposed to plugging that into your trunk. Of course, you can do whatever you want. It will work in the trunk, but um, we're actually recommending that you use the extension cable. Uh, there's a lot going on inside that dongle, so it, it does get a little toasty. Um, yeah, that I think right. is sort of the high level. That's kind of scary. Right, right, right. Let me add some to some 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 things to what Luke has uh, said earlier, especially to the point about um, first turning it on with twenty percent power. So, so um, right now um, when you charge the tracker, yeah. right, when you first yeah. get it. And the tracker. Did you um? Did you um, make sure that the drill seeker knows the the room? <coughs> we can hear what you're right, saying. So sure. When you get the tracker and you get you get it <laughs> and you charge it up, there is a current bus, right? It's from bus three. There's a current bus, and uh, even if you charge it 24 right. hours, right? It will still the LED will still stay red. But uh, the actual charging time um. you need to the USB-C is actually only about three to four hours to reach a full charge. Okay, so guys, please take mm, note that's fixed. Note on it's that. Fixed now. There's a slight this one's fixed now. Now. Fixed now. Oh really? Yay! Yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. know. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Through our um, China warehouse, 
if you're in Europe, uh, Unbound will be handling the service for um, for Europe. So you'll be able to ship it locally to the Netherlands and have it have the service. Oh, that's second. What about Australia? What so about Australia us, yeah. would, uh, would fall into the same category as you talk to Jason most likely. Um, so the Australian yeah. support would currently come come through the the Chinese uh, entity. Right, so Australia and the rest of the world and uh, Asia will, will fall, will, will come, will, will be handled by uh, myself and this will be done through uh, other channels, yeah. Okay, that's, that's kind of the story there, oh, yeah. I mean. I'm having mic issues, <laughs> sorry, having some issues with my mic. Right. So, um, right, so, um, um, mic? My mic. I have some, some problems with my mic. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. So, um, so very quickly, um, there will be a manual published online, <laughs> and this manual is written by <laughs> me, you, at the moment. Uh, she has just completed the first iteration of the online manual. Thank you, me, you. Thank you, thank you. So, um, Demo. a manual will be available online, and I think Luke will be publishing it online pretty, pretty soon. Yeah. It is already online. It's already published. So, um, the documentation and manual is at docs, D-O-C-S, dot tundra-labs.com. Um, we are using, like, a, uh, GitHub-based documentation system, so, you know, we'll always be improving the manual, adding extra things, so we want to close the loop on, like, what questions people have so that we can incorporate that information into the manual. And actually, like, it would be possible as well for community members to contribute to the manual if there's something that you specifically want to document or take the initiative to do. So, um, this is a pretty flexible real-time manual as opposed to, like, some stale printed thing that you just use to, like, prop up your monitor. So, um, we think that's important. <laughs> If somebody has a better idea of a manual, uh, or rather how to present it, please feel free to contact us. <laughs> we will take any and every suggestion, uh, suggestion very seriously and, and consider it, right? After all, this is a very open community effort, yeah. Right. Um, the, for uh, the, uh, is, uh, the forum that Luke was talking about is that <laughs> I cannot speak English. <laughs> so this, right, so we're still um, working on the manuals, like we're making improvements. It's a little early, but we don't mind sharing a rough draft of it. We're not that doesn't bother us, so get your right, feedback right. So early and often. If you guys have any feedback, just come at us and uh, one of the best ways to reach us will be <laughs> Kinky. Looks like a great idea. Eighteen plus only. Right, right. 
so um, we wanted to include straps with the tracker because straps are really essential to full body tracking. We also had, you know, pretty aggressive cost targets. So we included a basic strap with the bundle. Um, we've since also worked on, or Jason and his, his partner Zoe have really worked on a uh, really nice premium strap that, you know, we think is better than track straps and better than the other straps on the market. Um, we'll also have those for sale on Tundra Labs website and also um, they'll be sold through Jason's channels and we're bringing on multiple distributors to sell those straps as well in, in local places. So um, is there something that you want to add to that, Jason, besides? Right. Um, the straps are designed together with people from the VR chat community. Right? Uh, one of the designers is over here. Olivier, Olivier hey. can you say something about that? Why, why did you come up sure. with the design? Well, he gave me the, the amazing opportunity to, to do something real. Usually I do only polygons and pixels, so it was uh, really interesting to work on production. But the, when I looked for straps online, I saw many, many copies of the same stuff, uh, Chinese branding, uh, no name and so on. And it was all, all based from pretty much for arm uh, band uh, straps. And my concern was especially for the feet, uh, because I see dancers and I see really active people on VR chat. So I wanted to design something that was uh, that you could put on like slippers very easily, but also allow you to to do even kicks or pretty much play football. Uh, so if you have an extra strap behind, that really secure uh, the the tracker. Uh, so that. That was the, the main goal, and it was uh, really interesting to work with Zoe uh, uh, on, on colors and, and uh, uh, material, especially because the, the idea was to to remove it and put it on really the look uh, like a slipper, pretty much. So don't bother with the Velcro once you set it up. Uh, so and now it's uh, black and still resin yellow, uh, and right, I'm really right. happy with the, with the result. It's really comfortable. Personally, I use it with, uh, with socks, so it's made for, for naked feet uh, or, or socks, and yeah. Naked, huh? Naked. Yeah, that's... Sure. <laughs> 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 Nude feet. Hell oh, yeah, man. Who wants to have bare feet? Be me. Yes, an imposter. Yep. An imposter among he's us. The guy, he's the only guy that doesn't speak much English here, and his name is obviously in Chinese. Right? His handle, his name is obviously in Chinese. You can turn around and you can spot him. He's standing among you guys. Did you do? That'd be nice. Will that be a possibility? I think that's the plan, right, Jason? I mean, we're really happy that Kickstarter people backed us early on, so um, um, at a minimum, it's going to be free shipping for Kickstarter people. With, we think we need to figure out the exact promo, but I think that's only appropriate. Is that as good of a non-answer? One thing that we can reassure everybody here, the straps are uh, way cheaper than track straps. If you guys are anybody into track straps, right? So we are we are uh, more economical and providing a higher level quality of 
have a virtual room. Just try it out. Give us a chat and give the community a chat because we, we designed the community. I have a question. Community. And if... Yeah? Um, I wasn't able to get into Kickstarter. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of us weren't able to. Yeah. Well, um, when will you guys start, like, opening up a storefront that I can buy trackers and stuff? So, um, a little bit of a sliding target, uh, because our first priority is definitely fulfilling the Kickstarter orders that we have already. Um, we have, like, in terms of the supply chain and the components that are on order, we have a whole bunch of components that we've ordered in April. Um, to support the follow-on customers. Fortunately, a lot of those shipments are tracking towards being delivered in April, like 52 weeks after we ordered them. So it's really the moment when those orders can come in that we can produce like in a high enough volume that um, we'll be able to like fill everybody's requests on the tracker side. Uh, we've We've already testing, started. Testing, We've testing, testing. We've been expediting those parts for a long time testing, now testing. already. Um, so the gap between like January and April, you know, is just us screaming at the top of our lungs to the component suppliers to provide the, the chips that we need to build those trackers. So that's okay. that's really the hard part, and that's that's why we haven't really been able to like give a firm date on the the thing because. We just simply, fortunately, don't know when those components will be coming in to be able to open it up. So, um, you know, actually, I think it's an important discussion that we can have whether the community prefers to have a pre-order that, like, they would be able to reserve their spot in line and then wait for a few months for the trackers, or if you prefer to for us to build up the inventory and then release it for sale. We kind of want to. Um, prevent the situation where we'll, you know, we collect a lot of your hard-earned money and then hold on to it for too long before we know for sure that we can deliver the product, but um, we certainly are impacted by all of the supply chain shortages, especially for um, follow-on orders. For the Kickstarter orders, we feel that we have all the components that we need like, in the bank now and, and ready to use, so. all right. but unfortunately not too many extra. Um, Thank you. Question. Um, we will really welcome um, any discussion on, on that, right? So please hit us on our social accounts. Right. So yeah, another question. Yeah. So when it comes to the okay, straps like you were talking about, are they, um, do they have battery packs sort of like other straps have had or no? So no, they do not. Um, we, I mean, it's again, it's open for discussion, but with the tracker, we're able to achieve up to 11 hours of battery life with Damn. The tracker without a battery pack. So we felt like impressive. that was already bringing the that battery life impressive. to a threshold where you wouldn't need that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, our hope is that the battery pack thing was just a, a phase mm. that the full body tracking went through because, you know, the We've improved battery life quite a bit. Um, so, uh, you, you of course can still use the, the track. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. right. So the that, designer that, that, that yeah, the designer that standing amongst you, Wutong. Wutong. Hey, Wutong, give everybody away. Wutong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Oh. Give everybody away. So Ni hao. He's the one who included a battery battery holder. Waist strap, right? <laughs> He's the one who included a battery holder on the waist strap. So very, very good design, right? By us. And yep, as Luke said, um, we have managed to achieve a constant 10 to 11 hours of battery life usage uh, on, on our tracker, right? And we think that that will be pretty decent. And we probably will not need um, additional battery packs most of the time, right? So on a full charge, it is 10 to 11. Kind of related to the straps. Um, 
the with the um, existing like track strap plus like after fairly heavy use the straps themselves like wear down to a point where the velcro doesn't really strap anymore or sometimes like the padding of the straps like really gets crushed to almost nothing and the company doesn't really do any warranties or replacements on any of that do you have any like comment on like the durability of the straps for like long term What, what is the warranty? Uh, what's the warranty and after sales for the strap? Is it like needed to be six months, a year, or something like that? I think the year is our standard warranty period. Um, so we, yeah, I would say that that's a really good question. And to be fully transparent, like <laughs> we haven't worn the straps for a year to really know how they last for uh -oh. the time that you say you guys put them through. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have an extra pair of straps, so maybe that just needs something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we try we try to be fair with all of the customers. Like, you know, if there's there's a problem, we want to address it, especially within that first year for straps. Yeah. Yeah. Thank. Within a year, please come back to us, give us feedback because this is a community effort. We do not, I uh -oh. personally definitely do not take oh, no. any bonus for this, right? So come back to us, let us know, and we'll improve on it as much as possible. Okay? Swinier has a question right, over here. How can Quantico friends crash? Huh? Um, yeah, all of our crash. Oh, oh, yeah. Is, what's the size of the screw hole? He's back. One does not have a screw hole because it has the strap loop. And then we will also include the threaded base, which has the same threading as Vive Tracker, the quarter 20 um, US standard thread, uh, which is common for tripods and things like that. So the quarter inch on the threaded base. And then the two Ooh. screws that go into the swappable base plate are metric M1.6 screws. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Uh, question back here. Right. Way. Way in the back. <laughs> so for <laughs> go ahead. Way in the back. Uh, so for people who have um, Pimax headsets that uh, pair the device to the headset itself, it's going to pair the same as like the regular Vive trackers, right? There's going to be like relatively it, no difference. It's exactly the same as those trackers. Okay. I can answer that. Oh, let me answer that. Let me get that. I'm going to take the Pimax giveaway. Okay. Away. Oh, hi, 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 Pimax user. Right. Yeah. So Pimax is a very good Pimax friend user. in real life. Pimax. I use a Pimax. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Yeah, guys are very good friend of mine. <laughs> but uh, their software is not a very good friend of a Tundra at the moment. <laughs> 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 I think that the Pimax users are using a Pi 2 software, right? Am I right? Are you using Pi 2? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Pi 2 software doesn't seem to want to work very well with our dongle. So our Chinese community from in China has already reflected that problem to Pimax. And I've already worked with my friend Robin. Uh, and look, I think you've met Robin before. Oh, look, he's doing yoga. Uh, okay. So, um. The problem is being resolved, right? It, it is due to uh, them not recognizing the SW3, SW5, and SW7 dongle. It is exactly that. And I'm providing mm. support on that. So, you can come to me if you uh, get any. To receive your tracker, and if you have any problem, come and discuss it with me, and uh, I will be able to tell you what's the status of that. But at this moment, as we speak right now, Pimax doesn't work fully, that's a compatibility issue on the Pi 2 software. So, if you do not use the Pi 2 software, and if you just use native Steam VR, 
like what uh, HPC and index valve index does, uh, there's no problem, right? So I hope that that answers okay. a bit of the question. Thank you. But it works with the headset when running Steam VR, though, right? If, if you're running uh, plain vanilla Steam VR, yes, it does. There's no problem. Cool. Like, because the Pipe software is more similar to Steam VR. Yeah. Like every other headset, like how Oculus can run Steam VR, you just launch into it. Correct, that's right. But if if you will need the Pi two to pair with the dong uh, uh, dongle and the tracker first, right? You need to initiate Pi two, and, and the Pi two must uh, uh, do some kind of uh, initiation for the uh, tracker. Is that right? That that's how I understand. I have no idea. Works. But there, in their software, they do support adding the. Yeah. Trackers. Like when you have vibe uh, traffic, right. it does get detected in the software, but I don't know if it requires right. for it to be in the software before you want yeah. to, you know, thing VR. Yeah. If you want it to work Pi okay, you have to... software shell, right? It's a shop software shell. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, that software shell has compatibility issues with our SW3 5 mm. right now. It has not been solved yet. So, we have users who reported that they are the, the, in the, the, the in the Pi 2, even if they manage to pair successfully, uh, when they get inside Steam VR, the, 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 the trackers are upside down or it, it drifts a lot and there's some kind of, yeah, just some kind of compatibility issue. And the Pimax mm. uh, technical team, we have been in touch and we have talked to them and, and uh, the same goes for Japanese uh, users as well, and we, we just had a conversation with Pimax Japan, uh, and they are uh, yeah doing something on that. Uh, yeah, right. So will I not be able to use my trackers until that issue is resolved? Yeah, something like that. Okay, yes, it is that. Yeah, you will, <laughs> <laughs> you will have you will face problems for sure. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Sometimes um, honesty is good. At least <laughs> Uh, but at least the early bird in China helped us found find that problem, and at least Pimax is actively fixing it now. Yeah. And you have a direct contact. And you have a direct contact with me. Yeah, yeah. But my direct contact is marketing side and not really the you know technical side. I prefer to have a direct yeah, contact with the technical drunk, side. <laughs> 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 Special guest, is our special guest here? Special guest, and I think it's Is it Project Melody? Oh. So, so I'm working on getting him in here. I didn't give him the information <coughs> to join, so. Uh, so uh, Alright, right. need to do this. Well, it's a full instance. I think I know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's okay. an overflow. Uh, we we there's 80 people in here. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we've had our it chat is from full. Yeah, it it would. <laughs> Hack the, the world. If someone leaves or if an admin overrides the max cap or gives him an API flag on his account to be able to join full instances. Whoa. I don't think right. it's so that full. He can just, just join to let you guys know. Uh, 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 the no, there, there's 80, 80 people in here. That's the 80, there's 80, 80 people. Can. Yeah, yeah that, that's the hard I've, cap without admin like intervention. 33 people in the world. Oh, wow, yeah, well, that, that was was that a shelter thing? Because there that that world was uncapped once for a, a stress no. test. I I can't remember. Because uh, once you hit the soft cap, I think it stops showing up. So you, you get over the hard cap, you have to join on someone who's your friend. What's okay, soft cap? I didn't realize you hit eighty already. Dang. Uh, so soft yeah, cap is the world limit, and then hard cap is double the world limit. So We're here the world limit is forty, and hard cap is eighty because it's double that. Woo. Um. Yep. Yeah, oh, so one person now. left now, so maybe someone can join, you know? <laughs> so you could try inviting him you? now. Uh, right? I think he's going to ask you to join. Um, to watch out for a friend request. Right, so a 
bit of our special guest. He has been using Thunder Tracker. I see. <laughs> no, yes, he has been using Thunder <laughs> yes, Tracker. Yes, he he's definitely based in North America and a little bit famous. Yeah. Which version is he using? Oh God, is this? Or is it the dev kit? No, it is uh, our our close, very very close to the production tracker that you see. So it is just uh, one iteration. I think back. I know who it is. <laughs> I think I know who it is. I have no idea. Does his name start with a T? I can't believe it's PewDiePie. Does it have an H in it? Pewdiepie, my favorite. Hey Thrill! Hey Thrill! Hello. Hello there, Thrill! Hi Thrill! Hello! Cool, cool. Oh, Who's Thrill? Hey. I'm going to try my best not to fanboy! He's having oh. lots of trouble loading your name! Uh, oh, yes, he's back! Yo, right, exactly! Everybody on the team is having a bad time! I have a 3090 and this shit's so bad on me. Yeah, but I got a 3090 and it's not too bad. I have everybody know that. It's not, it's, it could be worse. Y'all are using current gen cards and I'm still using a 1080 Ti. I'm surprised my computer hasn't melted yet. From the path? From the what? Nah, 1080 Ti is pretty good. <laughs> I bought it on eBay instead of trying to join the rat race when the uh, card shortage hit. That's smart, man. Like, uh, you probably got it for super cheap too. So, I mean, good yeah. Deal, good deal. I'm in full body tracking kind of a lot, <laughs> and um, so I, I have like multiple sets of body tracker 3.0s that I carry from my office, or that I that I have at my office, and then at my apartment. And I end up now dragging my super dongle and my three tundra trackers from the office to my apartment and back. Like I, I really, I actually end up really liking the experience. Um, it's, I mean, the tracking's great. I, I mean, here you can see. Bro. It's fine to me. <laughs> um, and uh, they're uh, super light. So uh, what I like about it is that I can like jump and stuff, and there's not all the jiggle. That's like my biggest problem <laughs> with most vibe trackers. Oh, that's great. I mean, yeah, they are. And I don't have yeah. the nice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I end up liking them a lot. And then uh, using the super dongle is dope as shit. You know, <laughs> having having one freaking USB. Um, so yeah. I like it a lot. Um, I really haven't ran into any issues other than like basic Vibe Tracker stuff, you know, having to assign left foot, right foot, waist. Uh, that's like a mandatory with Vibe Trackers or with uh, Tundra Trackers, otherwise, you will flip hands constantly. So that's super easy to do. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've been liking them so far. <laughs> Probably making a video on them like in the next week or two. Right. God, it took you a while. I've been waiting for a video for Thunder Trackers for so long already. I just got these like a week and a half ago or something like that, and I've been using yeah. them almost every day. So, okay. uh, yeah, I'll probably have a video on them next week. 
That's, That's cool. Like, like, yeah. like, I was like, man, yeah. you're already shipping them to the U.S. and right. like, we teased them so long ago. And I'm like, when's this video coming up? Like, man, like, right. good, good on you, though. Like, it's yeah, great. I was Good impressed because the original, um, like, the, the DBT-1 that I had, which was, like, the early development kit one, uh, right. The tracking was was good, but it wasn't on par with a vibe tracker. This, like, as I mean, you can see, it's uh, it's just as, just as good. <laughs> so. Right, right. How many? Yeah. How many trackers do you have on right now? Just curious. I just have three, three? and then my my knuckles. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Just that I have. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if anybody has it, that's anything that's else, that's I'm done. I'm still using the index. I can't. I can't swap. Index. Index master race. Index master race. I'm using. I don't know if these are the straps that it come with, but I'm using the. I'm using some like black and green straps that were provided, and it like wrap. It wraps around my ankle, which I really like. Like, you know, they're on my foot, and then they wrap all around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they right in the back of my ankle. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got, I got, like, it's not working. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Wait, uh, yeah, yeah. A question for Luke real fast. Um, so the straps that Thrill is using, are those the straps that are provided uh, on the dongle set? Those are the premium straps, so those are the ones that we're talking oh. about next. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I think he's cool. Because right? <laughs> then we can uh, get, like, an inside view on it, right? Um, I have a question, actually. With the, you said you had the, the premium straps were actually made so they, like, wrap around the back of your button and stuff. Um, is there, like, a minimum size for how tight they get? I got really tiny feet, and m most stuff is, like, way too big for me. Mm. Oh. So yes, I am. We actually, like, yeah, I got so tiny ass ankles. Yeah, Jason can answer, but there are two sizes, and we went through sizing quite a bit because my feedback about the waist strap was that it was too small. So, um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I'm four eight IRL, so like I'm like way on the small side. And it's a pain in the ass to wear these things, so I don't wear full body all the time. Because it's so annoying. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. We need, we need small straps. Uh, uh, so, like, I don't know. I, this is kind of like a weird thing, but my waist is like... <laughs> I'm trying to get, like, measurements. But my waist is 28 inches, and I, whatever strap you gave me, uh, it's... I mean, I, it, it can go tighter. So, I've got a pretty tight waist and it can go tighter so i don't know <laughs> i'm like 75 80 ish pounds so i'm probably right, right, about right. as small as like anyone who's gonna use this stuff is yeah. hey well that's yeah, a good that's that's <laughs> Small children size. Size excess. Whoa. Hey, what, what about in, um, I'm actually in the size ceiling just below kit, like below. What, what about like, like extreme motions, ceiling. like doing handstands or like high kicks? Like, do do they lag out if they get too high or too far too quick? I'm like, below a size one. And I don't know. Does, does. <laughs> Bruh. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, tend to, I tend to stupidly stress test stuff, so if something breaks, don't worry, I'll let you know. Are you testing the Super Wireless 7 with uh, all trackers connected, or maybe like try with the development kit trackers as well? Uh, I only have the Super Dongle 3, so that's, what I, that's all I have oh. experience with. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got one clear one, luckily. <laughs> I love it. 
it's uh, super I aesthetic. Have, I, have, I have a question um, for Luke yeah, about so like, the clear case, or, or not yeah, about the clear case, but about the orders in general. Um, so I was an uh, early bird buyer, right? I had an SW, uh, like a uh, three dongle thing, right? Three yep, trackers. Yep. But I upgraded yep. to seven trackers. Right, and I got a couple of extra stuff on the cart, whatever. Um, is there a specific timeline when we'll get them, like second week of December or something like that? Because I mean, you did say you will get them later, which I understand, right? But didn't really specify. Just, just wondering. I mean, yeah. doesn't have to be an exact date yeah. or anything. I mean, we're, yeah, I we're still trying to. Right, so we're still trying to figure out the exact succession of dates, and it really comes down to, like, how many trackers we can get out of the factory as soon as possible. Um, we, we are, for early bird, right, people who back the early bird tier, they're shipping first, and those are all 3x bundles because that's the only option that we offer for early bird. After that, um, it's going to be a combination of two things. Um... We'll, we will do a batch of like the 3x bundles first because we can get those trackers out to as many people as possible you know with, with a, a small the same amount of trackers can go to more people when we ship the 3x bundles uh, we'll follow that on like after that first sort of wave we'll follow that on to the 7x and sort of mix them back and forth so that the 7x people are not waiting too long but um it is going to be a delicate balance of like who ships first first i don't i don't really actually can't really think of a hundred percent fair way for everyone to ship them out first so our priority is right. just move as much product out of the warehouse as quickly as possible you know fulfill right. as many people's orders as possible right, um, but then again because like, i got because i got a, like an early bird bundle right because i like i back like um, I don't want to say, like, almost as soon as I saw his video, right? But as soon as I saw his video, <laughs> right? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, but, but, yeah, I mean, <laughs> even when, when he first announced them, when he first talked about them, I started following you guys, you know, and I got the early bird bundle, right? But I wanted more t trackers because I have a second headset at home because um, I'm in VR and my wife is in VR, you know, and yeah. we like to hang out in VR and stuff. So that's why I got the seven bundle. And, well, I, w I wanted to get the early bird, right? And, and I did, but then I upgraded to seven, and I also added uh, uh, an uh, SW3 dongle or whatever, right? The three dongle, so then she can yeah. have it uh, full body, and I can have full body. Like, <coughs> I, I don't know, like, it just, just kind of sucks. Like, I feel like it would have been better if I would have just kept my early bundle and I would have just bought a second early bundle under her account and then we would have gotten it like sooner or something like that like I don't know like I guess I, I did notice that there was no option to make an early bundle 7 thing but I was like uh whatever you know as long as we get it before <laughs> Christmas it's fine I guess but yeah like it's great you guys have been great and I, I don't mind like supporting you guys and all that stuff you know so yeah I mean all I can really say con concretely is like we're we're trying everything to ship them out as soon as possible. Um, you know the the hard thing is like like he, like it, it, what's been really challenging throughout the Kickstarter process is like it's really hard to make special exceptions for anyone because then like everybody wants that same special exception, right? So um, we're just trying. I understand. Yeah. So, we just gotta keep cranking on the production is really what it comes down to. Um, the team, the production team, Jason and everybody at the factory is really, really hustling to put together as many trackers as possible. Um, we have, well, there's like a, what, a, a thousand of them just sort of in the, in the final stages or they're getting reworked right now and then there's a few right, more right, thousand right after getting behind it, right? So. Right, right, exactly. So, yeah. Um, I think that later on, uh, when we split into a smaller group, you know, anybody who has questions on 
what is the production going on like, you know, uh, whatever questions Bless you Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Sorry. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Bro, we're, we're just getting rid of COVID, all right? What, what you doing? Yeah, it's just Corona. Corona. No, 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 just Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I could do for some Corona. Under trackers, we all like pop some coronas in a party world. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Hell yeah. You gotta wait till April. I just wanted to know for the people who just got a basic early bird package, uh, and are US based, is there a timeline for those people yet? Because like I saw the update that you guys were getting them shipped in. I just want to know if there was any more definite information than that. Yes, basically, as soon as the dongles land, which is going to be like Monday of next week, we're going to be cranking through those orders first. So, so in a few, so basically in like five days, you'll be getting them there, and then you'll be shipping them out to the U.S. early bird. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, cool. Yep. That yeah, is great. So that'll here. be the first wave. Cool. Will there be I'm, a I'm tracking trace? Guys. There will there be tracking? Yeah, there'll be UPS tracking. You'll be able to UPS. track it throughout. Okay. Um, okay, sweet. So USPS has been probably the best news I've gotten for the past few months. Holy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, USPS. Mm. Right, right in time for my birthday. We, we use them a lot, but um, we wanted to have something more reliable than USPS for these tracker shipments. Right. Because they're really important. Fair, fair. Smart, smart. Mm. Is it all going to uh, be UPS based yeah, yeah. or some FedEx? So, hold on, there's a question about the CAD files, and then there's a question about something about FedEx, or what was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if it was all UPS based or if it was the FedEx companies. We're going to try, at least for the early birds first, exclusively UPS, and then we'll see how it goes. Like, I don't think that they'll drop the ball, but that's that's our go-to right now, is we have rates negotiated with them and stuff so that's that's the direction we're going um, okay thank you so a question on the cat right. files and people have asked about those a few times um the release is imminent uh it's kind of like right now we're making decisions every day like do we work on shipping the trackers and getting the paperwork for certification done or do we release the cad files so there's no like limit besides just like getting them out there into the world to release them so um it's it's soon still like but you know also it's it's in the list of things to do for sure like we're not we're no longer holding back from releasing them it's just a matter of fitting it into the schedule um, you know, just rip the Steam VR 3D models. <laughs> yeah, so the you can, of course, use the OBJ files already in Steam VR. They're they're optimized for rendering. My right arm has been disabled. Exactly like I can't really fix it unless I log out and log back in. So we also plan on releasing those 3D CAD files um, soon. On the um, note of releasing files, right. will we ever uh, release board views or schematics so we can repair our products we own? Ooh. That's right to repair. Good one. So, uh, it's very good. Yeah, with the right to repair yeah. is prepping it, Mr. Levy. Yep. I mean, I, can I just put in my personal opinion? I mean, I would say since these are still kind of early, like, kits, I wouldn't say we wouldn't be quite comfortable with that. I mean, I'm not going to speak for you guys at all, but I certainly would not be comfortable with something like that when it comes to... I mean, there's uh, probably like going right to be videos on how to disassemble in like a year. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I mean, but the boards are flexible, so switch chair so downs for literally a week in. And just give people time to reverse engineer it, I guess. They can actually fix it by themselves. Exactly. At the same time, I like, I would rather take apart a Quest 2 is like fucking difficult. <laughs> Nobody is online. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was pretty open about stuff like that, but uh, um, I, I'll be real honest with you. I I don't see us releasing the schematics or the the uh, like the the flex design and layout uh, for the sake of repairing one because you would like we are using a ton of like extremely small components. Most of them are unfortunately not 
uh, too repairable. And second, like, th we do have to maintain some amount of proprietary oh. information so that, you know, yeah. um, you know, sort of protect ourselves from being cloned. Of course, clones are inevitable, probably, but we don't want to, like, hand all the information on a platter to, to be cloned. Um, in reality, a lot of the information is already known through the HDK documentation. One of the issues are, are you going? The trackers is that all the photo sensors are placed uncalibrated, and so if you open them uh, deeply, you have the risk of, of moving them around, or when you put them back, not having the photo sensor at the exact place, and then you won't be able to calibrate it uh, using the software uh, and have your tracker in full health. Are there any plans besides the warranty to potentially have them uh, shipped back and repaired like after the year warranty ends or is it just kind of like if they break after a year you kind of just have to pony up for a new set? I don't really know the answer to that right now. Um, I, I, think I feel like at that point for repairs it'd probably be more expensive than a new one. Like, the cost of shipping it back and repairing it would be more than $100, I'm pretty sure. It's like, uh, yeah. Even then, fixing I mean, some of the broken components is everything, right? especially if you have chips inside. Yeah, very I mean, it's just like Like, I'm pretty sure the shipping it's alone like, would be almost $100. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, if it's in the States... Yeah, it's cheap in the States. But they're not in the States. Oh, shipping them back. Here they are. Oh yeah, I guess part. Like, we, like we, like we don't really, we don't really have a plan right now. We don't really have a plan right now for that. It, it could be one way or the other. I mean, it really comes down to like what's the right thing to do at that <coughs> point in time. We don't know until we sort of ship these out and see see what what issues happen at scale. So, Jason. Yeah, I think that it's easier to if we separate into smaller groups and we can take questions and answer them like fast. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's that's good with me. Um, but it's a good. Yeah, there's like 80 yeah. people here. I've never seen a lobby this full this calm. Same. Yeah. Same. I'm used to it. I go to like shelter and stuff all the time, and they're always This is like a. <laughs> this is like a convention panel right here. We aren't drunk enough. Because there's a certain cap of people you can have talking at once. You pass that cap, everyone's audio just shuts off until people stop talking. That's amazing. I will go upstairs to the second floor, so people who want to ask me questions can go up there. And then uh, look, I think it's like probably 16. stay around here, right? This corner. Sure. And then um, yeah. I think that uh, any anybody uh, chill, you can take one corner and probably chill with it, so people who want to chill with you. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's easier. Yeah. So yeah. last thing, thanks for every, thanks everybody for coming. It's very much much appreciated. You take your time to come join us. Yeah. I hope that this has been useful, and we will want to do more of this in the future. I, I hope that you guys think that this is, you know, you you come and join us in the future as well. All right? Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A few last words on my side, real quick. Um, like, high people's avatars. These, for me, these meetups are really important, and like. The VR chat community is so important to what Tundra Tracker is doing and full body tracking and like it, it is really something special like it's obvious to me that there's something special here that's more than just like you know the next app or something like that like the community that you see in VR chat is 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 really unique and, and you know something reminiscent of the early days of the internet early days of personal computing things like that so we we want to engage a lot with the community, and we want the community to tell us what kind of things we should engage with. So, like when we, you know, we we said on the Kickstarter update, you know, we're starting a forum.
I'd encourage you if you're a forum type person to participate and share your ideas for like what we can do to engage the community. But like we want this to be more than just, um, you know, buy the track and life is over with. We want to, you know, continue that relationship with customers after that you get your trackers right. So, um, but we're learning about the community. Like, um, definitely don't know much about it as, <laughs> at all compared to most of you in the room. So, like, you play an important role in, in teaching us, you know, what what the right things to do are. So, thanks, thanks everyone. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I clap, but my other arm is bubbed out. No. If the audio doesn't break, VR chat will first. I'll show you a controversial question. Copyrighted audio. Well, there goes the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Where's the algorithm gods I can pray to or something? I don't know. <laughs> uh, good luck. <laughs> right? It's honestly why I didn't yeah. go back into YouTube. I was going to, but like I stumbled into Twitch because Twitch oh, is at least reasonable so and they pay attention to context. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, they pay attention I, 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 to oh, bigger people. They don't pay attention to small people. Sometimes. Source, am one. Oh, they don't. Same. If you're not like, I, am I don't know, like 10k plus, you're just like a nobody to Twitch. Yeah, you're, you're nothing to them. You're nothing to them. You don't make them money, and that's what matters to them. I can't believe you're a normie. Like, if you don't make money, who cares? <laughs> I was joking. Things to make their platform better for creators, like adding clips as a discovery method and all these things. Oh, they're things, definitely better. It's that's just right. they, they don't care. They don't care right. for the small guys. They care for people like you. And and they thank you for, for uh, um, th thank you for the VR stuff for like teaching me about the trackers and stuff. Like seriously, thank you. Oh heck yeah, yeah. I'm actually seriously. so your radio coming here, which uh, have been amazing. Like I knew it would be you that would join. I I knew it'd be you. Like I was just like, it's it, he's the guy. He's the guy. It, it, well yeah, but, I, I got pulled about this last minute, and I was like. I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'll, I'll come in, um, and I'll probably end up posting my video about it next week. I wasn't going to post it next week until I came here, and I'm like, oh, there's so many amazing people that are excited about Thunder Trackers. Absolutely, I gotta post this. Um, so, so, yeah, heck yeah, super pumped. I mean, I, like, I, I don't think there, there's been, uh, which I'm not trying, <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, shill something here, but, like, I don't think there's been a, a device that changes the way, ah, oh, fuck, that changes the way I, like, <laughs> normally VR chat more than Tundra Trackers um, in the past few years. Like, I mean, because I end up bringing my Tundra Trackers everywhere. Like, it's just, um, I like them a lot. So. Now, I'm going to tell you experience. this. I really hope. Well, you, you're not you chilling. You're just being honest. Yeah, you have use case with them. You're being honest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I use them on stream and shit all the time. So, like, it's kind of like in the blood. You know, I mean, like it's, you can see it, you know? <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, you have use case situations with it. So my curiosity is like, I know with my 3.0s, like they drop out at the slightest sign of like looking at them cross side, and I figured them being the the tundras being smaller, that I figured they drop out more. Right. So like here, I'll I'll go cover one actually. Like, so I've got I've got my hip totally covered, and you can see I'm moving side to side, and it's I mean it's occluded. So it's not gonna track. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whoa. But, but it does snap back. So like, I, you, have, you, you have to watch for occlusion, especially around your waist area, because like yeah. even my arm going in front of it can occlude it since it's so small. So you just have to like, I've got mine on my hip right now. So you just gotta like watch out for it um, and make sure it's in an area that it doesn't occlude, because that will happen since they are. I mean, they're literally like. Fucking so tiny. <laughs> so the size so tiny. And avoid having reflection surface because the way a lighthouse tracking works. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. And they're so light. Like, um, although, so there was this one night I, I, I fell asleep in VR chat, like, I don't know, like a week ago or whatever. And then I woke up, and normally like, you like, wake that. up, and then all your trackers are dead, and it's like you're just a still thing. Right. And I was like, alright, guys, I'm gonna get off. <laughs> And then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna like check if they're on, and then I checked if they're on, and then, oh, my head. And, and then uh, I had like 30 or 35% battery life left after it turned back on, I was like, bro, let's go! And then I fell back asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Mood. Up, saw my shit still work, went dope. I'm gonna lay back down and look at my feet and then just fall back asleep. Quote that shit. Yeah. <laughs> there was some, there was some random stuff on Anime Apartment. I was like, you know what? I'm down for it. Let's go. <laughs> right? Yep. Exactly. It happens to me all the time. I fall asleep to like Techmon on YouTube, like, cause he's fucking soothing as hell and double the old like stuff. And like, I'll wake up and it'll still be playing autoplay. And I'm just like, ah, oh, his voice is so nice. Or it'll like segue into old radio repair. And it's just like a soothing man talking about fixing radios. And I'm just like, oh, this is so. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I fell asleep for like um, a few months straight to LGR la lazy game reviews. Like, Dude, same. He's so such, soothing. Such chill, just like tech YouTube. You now you just like fall asleep to it easy. But yeah, yeah. Um, sleeping the tech one gives you weird How many info. hours do you got in this game today? And it's just oh, like, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be a lot. Probably 10k, 20k, 30k. No, Half your life. I know people that have way more than me. I, I actually don't know how I have so little. I only have like 3,400 or something like that. I don't know. Show us your stream profile. Yeah. <laughs> I, do have, I do have other other accounts uh, and stuff, so like that could be why. I have, I have like... Makes sense. I, but like, I have like more than quadruple that in Steam VR. Dang. Triple right. that. So like, um, yeah. So I, I don't know. Maybe the numbers don't match up, but I I, I always look at it. And I'm like, I feel like I spent longer, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, know I have a question about like the Tundra tracker. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Does does the uh, Tundra trackers work with your Pimax headset? Because uh, we were talking about it not working before yeah. for other people. Oh, uh, really? Let me. Uh, so I meeting. actually have not tested it with my Pimax at all. I can do that. Um, like, whenever I'm doing this video, I'll make sure that I test that. Because uh, that's really interesting. Yeah. I don't know why it wouldn't. Yeah. Especially with like, what? a super dongle. Speaking that would make something to do with the another, another question. Yeah. They were talking about the dongle. Like the, what is like your the daily driver? Dongles? Like, headset daily driver. Is it the index? index. So yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 Yeah, like, index gang. You yeah. guys, if you have an it index is. right now, you know you know why I still use an index. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. It's it's, a, it's this. You can flip. Honestly, you can flip people honestly, off. You can. As someone who streams everything. pretty much daily and like most of it's VR content, oh, it's the if the Quest right. Two, exactly. well, if the Quest yeah. Two was like actually reasonable to sync full body to, it wasn't like a whole fucking like half hour ordeal every time I did it. I'd use that to stream and my index right. play things I want to enjoy. Because right. the Quest Two weighs right. nothing. But the index just works. Well, like, I put it on my head, I turn on everything, right. and it just oh, works. Yeah, it's just, and like, it's like, like Todd Howard. Like, the thing that works. Todd it just works. It just works. 
it, yeah, it literally yeah, just works. Yeah, it just, it's seamless. It's, it's a, it's it's a so full nice. integrated I've Steam VR system. Valve system. Valve system. Valve system. Oh. Literally, it's just downstairs right now. Uh, Honestly, I'm happy to like, see support for stuff like Thunder Trackers. Like well, because the whole, like, Facebook situation and meta and the sketch shit being Facebook. Yeah. 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 I drink to that. Like we are the ones building this. We are the ones laying the groundwork, and we have the power to say, "Bite me." So Facebook and all that. So it's actually, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really shocked that Tundra is even doing what they're doing, which it's also why I'm here today and why like they've been super cool to me. They're super cool to the community, but nobody right now is doing the things that we want like we want smaller trackers that are cheaper even if they're the same price but we want smaller lighter and longer battery life yeah. and like the exactly. only option that we have is like either you go with vive <laughs> odd, either, either vive or you go with like slime yeah, or something like that and then deal with all the issues yeah or connect oh, or yeah. Something. Mm -hmm. connect oh god, oh, god. Yeah. No. Oh, my god. Yeah. connect with slime vr That sounds like torture. Yeah, let, me, <laughs> let, me talk, let me find a cup of. I'd rather uh, experience Japanese water torture than that. And write our own tracker on us with like, co co like this life. Actually, or my, my first interaction with Tundra ever was I bought a hardware development kit from Tundra, like multiple, so I could build my own trackers. And I was seeing if I could make oh, really? some like Tundra Lab, because uh, I bought their IMUs. Like you can buy their individual IMUs if you want from their website. And so I bought the whole kits. And I put together a tracker, and I was like, I was seeing if I could make like some sort of pseudo open source tracker for people to make. But the problem was that if you buy the track, or if you buy all the components, it's gonna cost you like 140, 150 bucks per tracker. Dang. And so it made no sense, yeah. like zero sense. And yeah. so the fact Is this that a putting scale? it together for cheaper. What's up? I think it's just yeah, more than exactly economy scale, of scale, because yeah, it's just sure. a thing. You need scale, because Facebook yeah, right yeah, now, they, they are almost a trillion dollar company. Right. They have the capacity to do it. Tundra is yeah, being sure. really new and get to get the scale to where they need it to compete with the yeah, or some pictures on Twitter and everybody went crazy about them. Um, they make it cheap. This they is a company that's like on our side for sure. You know, they they're they're doing the things that uh, yeah, yeah. arm is still and fucked. So, like, I'm, I'm down for I mean, it. I, like, I, like, it. I think I think the only other company right now that I think needs a shakeup in the VR space, and it's like no no dig against them, but I I can't believe that Rebuff is where they're at right now, and they don't have stock in this country. They don't keep stock in the country. They don't have that any. Right. They're still like straight shipped. I, I ordered my track strap pluses a month and a half ago, and they've been stuck in LAX for two weeks. Oh. And like Bro. that, okay. that drives me insane. Uh, that I'm like, oh what? I spent 120 dollars to have this. You didn't tell me it was coming from there. I would not have bought it because right. I knew it would be like a two to three month wait. Mm. Like, bruh. You could, like, they, they, they could probably it's drive there and pick them up. <laughs> it would be easier. I could drive LA for cheaper and, and in less time to, to grab them than Just it would take the them to get Depot. them to me at this point. <laughs> 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 what? It <laughs> work. I mean, the other company I can probably see that could rival Facebook when it comes to VR is Valve, but Valve has been kind of... Valve is too friendly to people, purpose. which is a good thing. But... I honestly, like, Valve has no urgency. They know that they can't compete with Quest 2 in standalone right now. Not at the price mark, at least. And they, and yeah. there's no competition for the Index. Like, so exactly. why would they even... They, they, they have their places. <laughs> they, they, they have their places. Yeah. Actually, economically speaking, is really smart Man, because Valve's been in the gaming space for a very long time. I, I really think they that they are going to wait out the Facebook lawsuits because there's a ton of governments <laughs> and countries right now suing Facebook for their monopoly okay. in the VR space. Right. And I think they're waiting to see how exactly. that plays out before they even try to make a move because, like, yeah, they want to decentralize Facebook, but the, the Quest situation, the Oculus situation, is the only thing on a legal standing that we can literally see direct data from Valve, from all these producers, that they literally have monopolized and cornered the market that they could actually get hit on. So I think right, Valve's being right. smart and not waiting to fight hard until that settles down. Because I think if that doesn't settle how they think it's going to, with like Facebook and Oculus being like sectioned off, I think that's when Valve's going to go to bat as hard as they can. Because they're also going open, open source. source. They're going open source too, which is very pro-consumer. Yeah, 
far as I think, we we that Facebook the yeah. structures yeah. differently yeah. than Valve. In fact, Valve has a good flatline flatline structure, so it's whoever um, want to work on something, just, you know. You know yeah, a matter of when we'll actually get Other it. Other than a bunch of probably pens from the yeah, Steam Deck or yeah, yeah, they're probably just playing it. I think they're 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 just playing and the cool yeah, thing is, have to remember, when, Valve cannot count to three. I, I will say there are some <laughs> ridiculously dope uh, <laughs> headsets coming soon, like probably in like the next like three or four months. I know there's one on my mind that I, I can't talk about much other than saying it's going to be sick and it's small. So like there is sick and small, for, huh? For the PC VR people that, that are that are awesome. That's what she like, said. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> I know I'm not concerned about Valve doing a standalone headset because Valve understands the PC market just as well as they understand the standalone market and their PC VR oh, headset, right. I or their, their standalone headset, I guarantee you will have either pack in or easy as hell connection to Steam VR. Like you can just plug in, it'll be like right. a $10 cord, you just I mean, jack it, that it bitch in and go like for it. It could even be like a Steam cloud service even. I mean that would be freaking dope. Like if you literally just you have games, oh, yeah. they're in this like in their a link to your Steam account like and then Stadia, they're in your, but better. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like Stadia, but Stadia, like I mean. completely better. Um, that actually, would be Shadow dope. works be able to really stream well with streaming to Quest. Your VR games. Yeah, yeah. That would be dope. Yeah, um, there's I, there's a I, I actually have a Shadow oh, server. I let some of my Quest friends use. <laughs> I, I like Please actually bought like awesome a Shadow's too. like PC server for that. It works really well. I know well, the thing actually. that scares me yeah. is RE4 VR being a Quest 2 exclusive. Like yeah. that in the market, the mm, way that Facebook yeah. is, yeah, that is a hundred percent them testing the waters Capcom, of right? seeing what they can get away with. Ew. And right, right, right. they right. succeeded with that because that sold gangbusters, and that right. means I that with Meta coming out and all that. Before. And I've oh, well, I, I'm guilty as on everything. Yeah. Okay, so Me neither, actually. I stopped at RE3. And that was I mean, one time I gave same. Like, like, quest uh, I'm, I'm a hypocrite, but like, <laughs> it's on everything like now. It's, it's not that I don't like RE4, I just never bothered. <laughs> Haven't found a time, I guess. Same. Um, I, I, hey, um, I've heard it's good, it's just, uh, I've never had the time. That, uh, I, I like the meme break, and my wife likes the meme break, and even if the memes are bad sometimes, yeah. that's part of memes oh, being yeah. memes. Uh, Don't let your memes be memes. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> I pride myself on occasionally being cringe, because I allow people to be cringe. I love it. I <laughs> Theory. We use VR uh, chat. We are cringe by default. And the statement yeah, is cool. cringe cool. we are that day. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> I, love it. I love this platform. I reject your definition and substitute my own. Right, right. Hell yeah. Oh, I was like, I was like, I was worried about clipping in my face, and I was like, I just, I just wanted to say that about the meme break because because oh. I, I remember I remember oh, when you one. said Whoa. you wanted to do oh my God. a meme break that I was uh, two can play this game. You can walk. I gotta, I gotta do this. This is, this is, I gotta do this. It's legal requirement. And bop. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Watch out. Don't high five. Don't high five too hard. Oh, that's my armal break. You got, you got furries around. Like, you're like booping size, so you're just gonna get the first guy in the circle tight real quick. <laughs> Bro, this is so surreal. What am I even looking at right now? I guess, Thrill, I do have another question for you. So I don't know if you can see my avatar fully, but I do have a haptics suit on. It's the attack suit, the haptics 40. Whoa. What do you think about like the future of haptics? Because I know you did a video on that a long time ago. But like, what 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 do you think about it? Like, do you think it's going in the right direction? Like, do you think there's more companies that should probably like? Yeah. Use it? So I mean, I get it honestly, 
Behatrix so is, is pretty it, sick. It reacts. Um, yeah, yeah. You can touch my back to be able to react. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> wow. That's Whoa. Really cool. That's really neat. Uh, if you hear, I'll go totally swap it out. I'm going to just take off my shirt, but you can there see. Lude. You can see it react and stuff. But yeah, I can see you guys touching my back. We wait. Do you have uh, physics? We can actually touch you. Yeah, the controls and stuff all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, if this, like, if this is, like, Facebook Vibrating like, chest pack over like, the metaverse, <laughs> This like, is the future of the internet kind of right here. Facebook had, like, haptics, yep. like, haptics stuff. Haptic, uh, that would be really weird. So, like, with, <laughs> with haptics, I have, like, uh, like, a lot of people, they, they genuinely, like, think of, of haptics currently, like, be haptics. It's like, oh, it's just vibration. Right. And, like, yes, it is just vibration. But I kind of trick my brain a little bit and... Um, I think of it, yes, it is just vibration, but that's how I'm perceiving, like, the virtual world. Like, that's how my body right, is exactly. feeling things. And uh, it, I, I really love haptics, and I think that they will catch on. They just have to be way, way cheaper, and they have to work exactly. for almost yeah. everything exactly. ubiquitously. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. the system, they cost, like, what, five grand? grand? What? No, this, no, this, no, this no. was the like haptic. This was only 500 bucks. Yeah, 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's about half the cost of an index. So, uh, yeah. as, somebody that grew, as somebody that grew up in the RC market, like I had like some really expensive remote control cars as a kid, why wouldn't they use mm -hmm. servos to press on you with haptic vests instead of vibration? Because that seemed mm. like that'd be a little bit more realistic. Mm. Has that already been done? Nah, that is, it's probably more expensive. Because I know that there are. Ex I have seen servos that are the size of your freaking your thumbnail. They can get really, really small. So I know it's probably right. possible. But how expensive would it be is the question. Because them it's tiny little servos are like, like five digits. <laughs> right, it's probably yeah, like five it's digits or something. You mentioned like RC cars. I was really into uh, nitro trucks for a while. Ooh. Um, Okay. Hey, so, I, I had a lot of electric, though. I, I couldn't stand, I could not stand nitro. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, right. I can't stand working on nitro, but I love the smell of it. <laughs> um, you know, the smell's good, except for when they flip over and they, they blow up because they go wide open forever. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, I, I You're really RC like, track. Wee! Oh. A ton of vibration motors are really cheap. Like, you know, you're talking... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe like, a couple cents, that, I, maybe I don't 50. know, but like... Anywhere from cents to like at most like in the low dollars a dollar. each. Right, right yeah. Absolutely, so, yeah. um, very, very cheap. I, I bet you the most expensive thing about the Behaptics vest is their, uh, their, their crew, like their actual, um, payroll. And probably uh, yeah, their, their, crew, their tooling for the, the actual software, material but, of right. the, of the suits. Um, cause their suits are actually pretty yeah, high quality. Probably. Honestly, um, it's oh, interesting yeah, to talk about it. you I mean, perceiving it, the vibrations because like, being in VR and a fan of psychology and having phantom sense, like it comes and goes. It's it's super interesting to realize and connect like the, the psychology behind phantom sense, and realizing right, that once right. you adjust to like a behaptic suit, your brain will start to perceive that with the yes. external stimuli. Because like you sit there in oh, a behaptic suit, it, standing had, around, I you're like, experienced that oh, many so times. Too. But like if you see somebody reaching right. out and touching you, <laughs> and you have that phantom sense, your brain can connect the dots, feel the phantom sensation, and then cry. fire yeah. the. I'm kind of yeah, jealous my, now. My most anticipated video for probably this <laughs> month or next month is going to be like breaking down philosophical concepts of VR and reality to heighten your immersion within VR. Like once you understand a few basic things, like the way you think about VR can be altered slightly to a point where it's like you enjoy VR a little differently because you're immersed more because you think of it differently. Oh, yeah, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, I've yeah, it's all about to where in a world with proper lighting and all that, even though, you know, because, you know, being a furry, it, my, my persona has been a big representation of me. It's always been the mirror of myself. And so right. seeing myself in, in this world, in, in virtual reality, I've hit the point of Phantom Sense where I felt breath against my face. And I know it's a psychological trick, but it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. It's super duper fascinating, the psychology of VR. That's why I'm also terrified yeah. of Facebook getting into it, because I've seen people that, <laughs> right, like, right. fall deep into, like, mental and emotional right. states. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe yeah. we're entering the plot of dot hack. That is a scary concept. I know multiple people that have like real phantom pain. Like you can actually like I have seen evidence of people like their skin turning red because somebody stabs their arm or something. Like Bruh. because their body yeah. is legit.
probably I freaks had, out and thinks there's something wrong. Oh, that would be crazy. Spitting out actual blood. What? Because that of has to be something else. <laughs> that, that's something else. That, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's called, that's called <laughs> being possessed. <laughs> you better go see a priest. <laughs> it sounds like yeah. I have something else going on, just a little bit. I'm sorry, but your friend might be hemorrhaging. Like... <laughs> <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> Yeah. You have really weak capillaries in your nose. That can actually happen. Well, yeah, turning red because if, you, if your brain believes you've been injured, your brain is going to engage the response to injury, That's which like, which makes the skin red because control blood is rushing to it because your body is assuming like, that your there's a wound outline. there, so blood will rush to it to try to coagulate, and like your blood will get there, right, and your mind will be like, wait, mm -hmm. there's nothing here, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, I know I've gotten hardcore, if you have um, grabbing like, enabled. At, like my hair stand up whenever you go to hold it, your controller could get an outline over it. Like you can yeah. see. No, 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 no. That's the thing, though. Like because when people, with, like, with a massive out of avatar, avatar my control over the same size as my hand still. Okay. Except okay. for fine. I'm talking about when people, like, yeah, just <laughs> ridiculously are, like, all, you know, they're, like, invading your space. I because I'm, like, I, I, I was I don't know. This, I, one, this one's modeled by my actual life. like you would. Damn fucking time. or whatever. It's no big deal. I know I feel that because I was playing Blade and Sorcery, and I took an arrow to the eye to give me a splitting migraine, like, for, like, a solid two minutes. Bruh. That sounds painful. <laughs> I used to be a VR chatter like you. <laughs> Jinx. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm down for a picture. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yep. I'll, I'll be somewhat at the front. Yeah. My arm is kind of fucked right now, so I'll need to... Oh, God. I can see it. It's too many... It's too many... It's your thing. Oh, actually... Everybody go smallest avatars to the front. You can just use the back wall. We're at throw. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just switches to big avatars. Did you go to the gas station to pick up Corona? <laughs> Does that count? Okay, that, I'm just. Right, I'll just use you guys get Corona, I'm gonna cloak myself. <laughs> I'm not <gonna> Cheers! <laughs> this one looks horrible, but I'll, cheer, I'll go into it anyway. Banana. Cheers! Okay, and, and, alright. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice! Oh, wait, wait I was flipping off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just as God intended. <laughs> don't give us ideas. Don't give us ideas. Don't give us ideas. Nice. All right, cool. Heck yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you, Thrill. Yeah, I'll definitely put it at the end of the video for sure. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting everybody as well. Yeah, this is the first time I even found out about you, so. Woo! What's up? So, do you have any of those What's up? Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got everyone's avatar on, except for. I yeah, I don't have everyone, like, like, everyone's avatar is shown from TV, yeah, of course. Have you used five trackers and country trackers? Yeah, no, it's good. I have an RX That makes total sense. Yeah, I have a CPU. 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 Yeah
I think it's dope. Like uh, I'm always, I'm obviously gonna try. It. I'm actually gonna try it at a uh, CES coming up. So I'm really excited. Yeah. I mean, it sounds amazing. I just, I have, I have to see it in person. You know what I mean? Can you screenshot me? Can you screenshot me? No, my friend, my friend, my friend. If you don't mind me posing with him, my friend's over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. We literally just met, but okay, sure. Oh. Oh, one second. Sorry. And here we go. Cheers. We got it. Fuck Facebook, am I right? If you do want the, the like the actual file for it, I'll uh, if it's that, just send me a message on Discord and I'll just send it over. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Or I'll, or I'll put it in my Discord server. One of the two. So. Yeah. I'm I'm not yeah. really a big fan of yeah. like Facebook yeah. trying to take over the VR market. Yeah. And I, like, at all. Yes. Hell no. This is this is our man. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, All right, well, I'm gonna head out. Thank you so much. For the nice meeting you, Thrill. So much energy. Nice meeting you. Oh, what a thrill. Is the video gonna be on YouTube or Twitch? Bye. <laughs> Thrill's practicing yoga. So now who's gonna comment first on the video? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, everyone, everyone! That's a good question. Can we all see pose and sing the Halo theme? Sure, I only got one arm, but okay. Sure, sure, sure. Do 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 do. Welcome to VR chat. I don't play this in Alpha. I'm gonna be on real community. Yeah. Seriously. I didn't even know who Thrill was before tonight, but now I'm glad I met them. I swear to God, if I'm not subscribed to him on YouTube, I'm gonna fucking kick myself tonight. I, I think I think we'll I all watch his shit all the time. Everyone, you kick Link. I don't have reason. foot trackers. Whoa. I've got. All right, petting time. Well, yeah, petting time. Here we go. Petting time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, why, why are you petting me? Well, come on, man. Come on. Pet the heavy. Pet the heavy. I dare you to. Pet Cyborg heavy. Pet the heavy. Pet the heavy. Wait, why is it? Wait. Sandwich. Transparent for me. Wait. Oh, completely. Oh, oh, God, it's the Terminator. <laughs> Pet me here. Let me uh, let me get a very appropriate one. Uh, How appropriate? How appropriate. 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 No. Oh, no. Hell yeah. Oh. You might want to get be a bit a bit taller. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love VR chat. It's great. 
It's great. Mm hmm. Do it. Maybe add a quantum jet or something. You're gonna give out the yeah, 3D so model so files for how we can create our own bases or whatever, so we can use them for like virtual production or create our own yeah. weird mounts or whatever. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That yep, would be. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, that would be sweet. So just a quick question. Oh, you talk a lot about yeah. um, like the community and like connecting people. Have you guys ever thought about done like um, or doing like an in-person meet like here in Wisconsin or no? You know, um, I'm not opposed to it, but it, it is kind of limiting for people to like. It's is just a little challenging for storage. Yeah, like yeah, I have about 80 terabytes. Oh Jesus! Dude, yeah, in the chair. Yes, I am a terrible person. It can be an open door. I mean, we can arrange visits. You know, we've had people come and visit the place. Really? Damn, that's awesome. We just know a pretty small number of people. And I mean, our office is not, like, impressive. Right? We're a startup. It's like... I just don't want you guys to be underwhelmed when you, uh, I mean, look behind the curtain and it's just me. Yeah. Chocolate factories. I thought you were an anime girl. No, I thought you would have ears. No, they lied to me on the internet. I thought you would be a femboy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. So, I heard you earlier talk about selling the distributors in Australia. Like, So, maybe in the future, you guys are also going to be selling stuff and like... Let's say maybe Micro Center at the US side or Micro Center. Micro Center would be great. Micro Center would be great. There isn't a Micro Center within 500 miles of me, but I think it would still be cool. Dude, I had to travel a thousand miles to even get my GPU. Fun! Bruh. At least you got a GPU, right? Shit, really? I mean, as that long, was worth as, it. As long as um, that yeah, was worth the drive in, I probably as equal as the amount of parts mm -hmm. coming out, and I think then you'd be able to redistribute into another. You know, why is there a giant? Like oh, that's okay. Or, like, that's why. Or, there was like a giant Paul behind me. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Wait until the supply chain issues are really serious. It's gonna be a while for that whole supply chain. True. True. Um. But yeah, so I guess, um, regarding content creation, I know you here now. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone fucked off. Yeah, show, show. Okay. You see you, Olivia. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> huh? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Oh god, the world's dying! Oh, psh! And then, happy birthday to you! Oh god! something and I don't know what. <laughs> I, I hit something in my room and I don't know what it was. Birthday celebration where the no way to test uh chat. He just stabbed a man through the heart. <laughs> 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 
Science has gone too far. <laughs> Music event, there's 80 people. There was like 80 at the mansion. This is like very rare it goes over that by more than like 80. Nice to meet you, Luke. Looking forward to the trackers when they come in. See ya. I mean, uh, internally they're trying to have some disagreements about when it's okay to do that. I mean, uh, the events at the club I work with, yeah. uh, one of our, like, staff members works for the VR chat team, and now they're being told to no longer open our instances to be over 80 people. So, like, a, uh, you know. That's crazy. I, know I mean, 80 people is a lot. I mean, if you think about 80 it. 80 people. I don't want to get anyone it. in trouble. It's, 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 80 people is pretty big. Oh, well, okay. 80 people on a peer to peer no. on, I know, I see you everywhere. I see Tupper. I see some of the other guys everywhere else. There's frauds everywhere, too. So, no, I mean, peer to peer or client to server. Yeah, no. For 80 people. Peer to peer with 80 people is terrible. I mean, look at look at how bad it is with certain uh, Nintendo games. Like, come on, man. If it's that bad on them, yeah, I think you know I think you know where I'm going with that one. And also, the USB traffic the issue because of the PC. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, 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 because I yeeted some DLLs out of my VR chat install and it fixed it. But, but I've now learned, thanks to Sophie, the lights. Uh, there's a yeah, lot of light. None of the lighting is big. Like, you can literally do anything with this. Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. No, every single one of those little lights you see around here, every single one of those is a real time <laughs> point light. <laughs> like, we're, we're at the point where we're starting to break the shaders. Like, and my shaders are There's, there's also two real time point and, lights in the like, middle of this area that cover the entire map. And then they have um, the real time directional light. I guess that explains why so some is shade. At least three lights in forward rendering. <laughs> is that why some of the avatars start breaking? Just like texture wise? Yes, yeah. Because the shaders, shaders are breaking. Like, I pulled out the debug avatar and. Shaders can't draw more than four lights. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, depending on. In this context, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you're using camera hacks, it's a different story, but normally... Well, we, won't, we won't go into it. Normally, yeah, yeah. It, within the normal context of VR chat, it's four lights. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, because, yeah, you can use cameras and technically get eight, but... Yeah, and then, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But, like, if... 
you can actually see over in that area a lot of times. Um, you'll see some of the light sources randomly pop on and off because there's so many lights that they actually all can't render correctly. So some of them will randomly shut off. Completely changed it. Yeah, I, I, I know my, like, my setup yeah. for my body tracking right now is run off of a USB-C hub that goes directly into the yeah. USB-C port on my motherboard, so like I have no bandwidth issues, no, no power issues. The one time I tried it off USB-3 to USB-3, like I was losing track and everything was stuttering. So as long as you get a powered hub that directly connects to the USB-C port on your computer, oh, I have a friend who does 8 by, uh, 3.0 vibe trackers and a bunch of other crap on it. They have one thing plugged into the USB-C and that's enough. Yeah, and I don't want to be too hard on powered. Oliver or wow. Olivia. Wow, sorry. Uh, uh, okay. Um, he's not a he's an Unreal developer, not a Unity developer. So like, you know, are you? I'm using a grab pass on your on your uh, glasses there. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Take my GPU time, goddammit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to rob it from it's you. Not I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's not an issue. I have some rain marching around the street. Restarting VR chat so we can see if we could fix this busted arm really quick. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. Now then, VR chat. Launch. <sighs> it's been a long day. I didn't expect this VR chat meetup to go so long. There we go, that was fast. Is my arm just dead completely? Do I need to restart Steam? It's t or do I need to restart? Dang. Exit VR chat. Let's turn off VR. <laughs> 